Hi guys, this is Dr. Chris Napoli, and this is the very first Napoli Nutrition Update. Uh, for those of you who heard heard about this coming for a long time, I apologize. I think it took less time to build the pyramids than to get this up and running. But now that we are, it should be easier to keep it rolling. Uh, my goal in this producing this series is to give you guys practical, usable information uh, that you can actually take action on and improve both your health and the health of those around you. So today's topic, very important one. I want to teach you the difference between folic acid and folate. The, uh, the reason and it's really important because not knowing the difference can actually uh, increase your risk of cancer. Back in 1998, the federal government uh, passed a law requiring that processed food companies uh, fortify foods with folic acid. All right, they actually, I believe they left it open, folic acid or folate. Um, the reason being that there was an acknowledged deficiency of folic acid or folate in this country. And with low folate comes significantly increased risk of birth defects, cancer, heart disease. Okay, so important stuff. The reason for the deficiency is that although folate, although folate is in all fruits and vegetables, it's very unstable so that once you heat it, it's destroyed. And within, I think, th three days after harvesting, 70% of it is gone. So we're coming up really low. Now, when they passed that law, the FDA said you can use folate or folic acid interchangeably. Uh, makes no difference. The problem is the body didn't get that memo. There is a difference between the way the body uses folic acid and folate. Folic acid is a synthetic version. To use it, the body's got to convert it into folate. Now, we used to think you couldn't take too much uh, because just like other B vitamins, which by the way, vitamin B9 is what folate would be considered. Uh, all B vitamins are water soluble, so if you take too much, you just urinate them out. So we used to think you can't really overdose on them. Well, new research from the last year, year and a half, has shown that the body's got to convert it, all right? And some people have a genetically low ability to make the conversion from folic acid into folate, and all of us have a limited ability to some degree. It turns out that whatever folic acid is left in your body unconverted actually increases your risk of colon cancer, colorectal cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer. So this is significant stuff uh, we're talking about here. Uh, so now, with that information, what do you do? Do you stop eating processed foods? Because there was, a, there was actually an article in Prevention Magazine called, Is Your Breakfast Cereal Giving You Cancer? The answer is probably not that dramatic. Uh, but what you should do with this info is, number one, limit your intake of processed foods. First of all, most of them are fairly useless to the body anyway. Pasta, rice, bread, uh, breakfast cereals, they don't give you much at all nutritionally, and they actually will make you fat. So it's a real good reason other than that to kind of knock them off or keep them very low. Now, the other more important reason, thing to pay attention to is reading labels on your supplements because in multivitamins and full standalone folic acid products or folate products and in B-complex you are almost always going to have folic acid you shouldn't be taking them period instead you want to find those products with natural forms of folate in them they're available I have them in my office everything in my office is only the natural form and what it'll say on the label uh, if it says folic acid alone or folate alone, you can pretty much count on the fact that it's synthetic version because the FDA, remember, allows those to be interchangeable. If it says folate and then in parenthesis as 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate or 5-formal tetrahydrofolate or even folinic acid, any of those are okay. Those are actually the natural forms all right, in nature. So look for those. If you can't remember exactly those, if you look at your, your supplement and it says folate and then in parenthesis as and a whole bunch of writing, you're probably going to be okay. Uh, you can always call me. If you're not sure, call me, read it off to me. I'll be happy to tell you which is which. So that's very important. Try to take action on it and tell your friends about this because uh, I'm seeing far too many uh, cases of cancer, both in my private life um, and, you know, I'm, I'm on the board of advisors of the American Cancer Society, and they send patients over, and it's, a, it's disturbing. So please pay attention to that. 
Now, next time, we're going to talk about um, some really amazing info on Alzheimer's disease. There's some new research showing some very simple things, nutrients that you can take that are inexpensive, readily available, and it actually can reverse the symptoms of Alzheimer's uh, and prevent its uh, progression. It almost seemed too simple when you look at the research. So uh, I think you'll enjoy that and hopefully be able to put that to use um, if that affects any of your lives. So until next time, thanks for watching. Uh, God bless and be well.